this series, we are going to showcase our travels through Turkey, all the delicious foods, and some of the friendliest people on the planet. So sit back, grab a kebab, and enjoy. You're in for a treat. One, yeah? What are we ordering? A uh, shimmit. So it's this like um, Istanbul style bagel or pretzel. Uh, and it's basically in a shape of a ring and it has some sesame seeds on top. And it's very, very traditional to have it whilst you're going on a ferry across to the other side. So that's exactly what we're doing. Teşekkürler. <laughs> Çay? Okay, good to know, good to know, thank you. There we go. Maybe on the boat. Maybe on the boat, yeah. All right, let's go. A boat is here, we better go. <laughs> so it's a Turkish lira. So it's not too bad. It's 80p, even less than that, actually. Sorry? Escort. Escort? Escort. Oh, okay, 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 yeah. So we need to get our house codes, Misha. You got yours too. <laughs> Hello there, travel lovers. Hi there. So we have another beautiful day here in Istanbul. And today we're doing our intro from the boat. Where yes. are we going, Misha? So basically, guys, as you may know or may not know, Istanbul is split between two continents. So that's Europe and Asia. And so all of our time so far has been spent on the European side, mm -hmm. but for the very first time, we'll be going to the Asian side. How so exciting. Yeah, yeah, so technically speaking, we're going back to Asia, guys. Yay! Yay, after 20 months. One of my favorite continents. <laughs> One of our favorite yeah. continents. So we have no idea what's over that side, if there's going to be any noticeable differences, but here's to finding out. Yeah. So, shall we try our shimmit actually? Yes, let's try our shimmit. Yeah, so as I said before, this really nice uh, pretzel that is sold almost on every corner here in Istanbul. Yes, it's very popular. It's uh, quite traditional to have it here on the boat. So, well, I'm so sorry for the wing guy. <laughs> I feel like I'm gonna have a lot of hair in my mouth. <laughs> but uh, should we give it a go? Yeah. Do you want to buy it first? first? Yeah. Mmm, mmm, woo, 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 woo. Mmm. So technically, you're supposed to have it with some tea, chai. We know that there is a guy selling chai downstairs, but we don't know how long is this boat ferry trip gonna that, last. Gonna last like ten minutes. I think it said five minutes on five. Five. I think it said five minutes We've on the internet. We've been talking for five minutes. Uh, so yeah, we're just gonna give it a miss, I think. Yeah. Mmm. Yeah. Is it nice? Mm. I haven't even tried any yet. Because all I keep eating is my hair. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's good. It's like a bagel. Yeah? yeah. Is this similar to the one that we had in Poland? In Krakow? Krakow, yeah. It is quite similar, mm. yeah. Mm. It's really delicious. Oh, I like it. It's really fresh. It's really fresh. Mm. Because on the outside, it looks quite um, tough, quite mm -hmm. hard. But in the inside, it's very chewy. And usually nice. people have it for breakfast here. So, mm. Or if you're feeling a bit like hungry, package, <laughs> it's always good to grab it. I've got hair in my mouth as well. Mm. Mm. All right, so. Let's film some shots around the boat. Let's get to Asia. Have we got our passports as well? Oh. <laughs> and uh, yeah, we'll see you in Asia, guys. See you on the other side. We're on the Asian side. Um, we think that we took the wrong ferry, I mean, to the wrong, um, what do you call it, to the wrong port. Yes. There are two here. One is called Uskuda, and the other one is called Kadikoy. I think we were supposed to take the one to Uskuda. So we're like about an hour away from Uskuda, like the places that we wanted to see. Look, 
nothing can go wrong when you, when have, you have Turkish chai. chai. <laughs> ah, 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 yes, it can. Hot, yes, hot, can. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's really hot. So, how long would you say the boat was? Okay, so I was wrong. I thought it was five minutes, but that's for subway. So, if you want to go from the European side to the Asian side, it's about 20 minutes on a boat. To Kadikoi. To Kadikoi. From Kadikoi to Kadikoi. Oh, it's just so It's confusing, so confusing, isn't it? Isn't it? <laughs> so, we haven't gone very far. We're at the port. It's literally the first cafe that you see when you come off the boat. Um, I think we're going to a street called Baghdad Street, and I think it might be similar to the street Iska. Istiklal? Istiklal Street yeah. in Galata. Although they're saying it's like a Champs-Élysées of Paris. Oh, sh oh really? Yeah. So it's quite bougie, is it? Yeah, probably. Okay, so we're thinking to go to this very bougie street called Baghdad Street, mm -hmm. um, a shopping area here. And then I think we'll slowly make our way then to um, Uskada. And then we'll head over to the mosque. Um, I think it only opened like two years ago, it had a massive um, reconstruction of that mosque. And I think it's one of the biggest in the world. So we've just arrived to Baghdad Kadesi. Oh, Krispy Kreme. Oh, okay, there we go. So Misha is already knowing what she wants. That's good, that's Krispy good. Krispy yeah. Uh, so this street is basically full of shops, cafes, restaurants, you name it all. It's Everything is here. It is, yeah. yeah. We saw h and now we saw Mango. Uh, I think I saw Prada as well. Yeah. So there are some like luxurious boutiques as well. Yeah, so I don't know what we're gonna do. I think we're just gonna walk up and down. And, and that's it. We'll and that's it. <laughs> Refreshing, very nice. Would you say that is the most popular beer here in Turkey? I mean, I can't possibly comment, but it is our favorite beer. Here. Yeah, uh, it's really nice. It's normally the cheapest one. Yeah, that and uh, Tuborg, I think. Yeah, they like Tuborg here as well. Yeah. yeah, we got a very nice view of the street, so we can do one of our favorite activities, which is people watching. Yay! <laughs> and we also got some nachos, guys. Mm. I know it's very non-Turkish dish, but why not? Mmm. Oh yeah, baby. Mm. So yeah, I think we're slowly gonna go to Uskuda or Ushkuda, I'm not sure how to say it. Mm. Uh, hopefully we'll go to that mosque and hopefully we'll check out the hill with a gorgeous view of Istanbul. That would be lovely. Yeah. Justina's also stopping for some ice cream. Come on, it's 26 degrees, you have to. You do, what you yeah. got there? I don't know, I want some Magnum ice cream. Maybe yeah. double. Caramel oh yeah, double caramel. Or maybe cookie. This is costing me 68 pence. Insane. In the UK, I think it's like two pounds fifty, if not more. Wow, incredible prices. Magnum, my favorite. What's your favorite ice cream? video clip it looks like a painting yeah, like it mirage. doesn't look real yeah like a mirage yeah. so these are the first glimpses of Chamliamas <laughs> what's that voice you're doing <laughs> <laughs> in Wow guys, we finally made it. Right behind me is Chamliya Mosque, the largest mosque in the whole of Turkey. Can you believe this? I can't believe we're here. Actually, all that effort was so worth it. And I think it's the perfect time to come here when the sun is setting. So you see this beautiful light hitting the mosque. Fantastic. This mosque only just opened about two years ago. It was in March 2019 and the whole work started in 2000. So it took them almost 
20 years to build this mosque. And in fact, it was led by two female architects who wanted to create a female-friendly prayer space. And I think they've done an amazing job. So this mosque has six minarets and 70 domes. But that's not even the most fascinating fact. It can hold up to 63,000 people at once. the size of this mosque it's stunning it's just it's not amazing. just large it's just really really beautiful yeah, yeah. even the entrance way in which we're in right now yeah. is so grand yeah Ooh. do a spin around <laughs> yeah. yeah it's just breathtaking honestly it's one of the nicest buildings we've ever come across obviously we've been to the Taj Mahal yeah. but it's definitely in top five in terms of like wow factor probably you're right yeah within top five and look at the color of the domes very similar to the blue mosque I guess yes maybe they're trying to keep the theme like going for Istanbul the same like blue Possibly. domes unless yeah. the color means something maybe yeah you can see like the domes literally from here yeah. as well from this entranceway I still can't believe there's 70 of them though I know it's really hard to imagine insane. I would love to see it from above unfortunately you can't fly drones here but no. I'd love to see it from above mm -hmm. I bet it's just like insane yeah um, but now we're gonna try and go inside we already have our headscarf from Hagia Sophia mm -hmm. well mine anyway Justina bought hers from the market yeah. mm -hmm. um, but you can get some head wraps and scarves here if you don't have one um, for now let's go inside and see if the breathtaking views continue I'm sure it will let's go now I see why it took them almost 20 years to complete this mask it's absolutely breathtaking yeah. wow be the wow, so unique! Wow, look at this, guys. Again, the size of it, everything is just so grand in here. It is. So we've just come to our last point of the day and that is Chumlia Hill. So from here we can see stunning views of the European side. So we've come to the end of this video. I think we're gonna put our camera away because we got two cheeky bears in our backpack and we're just gonna enjoy the sunset. Yeah, yeah. it's going to be a really nice sunset somewhat hazy mm -hmm. but still you can really appreciate the scale of Istanbul from here wow we're just looking out towards the European mm -hmm. side yeah. but wow what a day what a day what I a think day. Um, we probably made a few bad decisions at the beginning of this video yeah. but that still led us to some amazing adventures and we hope you enjoy this video guys so we're gonna say goodbye because we still have to get back to Europe <laughs> so for now guys cheers, cheers to freedom, freedom. Woo!